everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be my I Share About Collection Plus Declutter video. I'm calling it this so that I don't get yelled at as much in the comments. This isn't going to be a video where I declutter 75% of my collection and now I have a minimalist collection. That's just not going to happen, but I do want to go through all of my palettes, declutter quite a bit, and just kind of show you guys everything that I have. So um, I have all of my eyeshadow palettes in this Alex 9 drawer unit here. Plus, I have a few over here. Please don't mind this setup. Um, my boyfriend is staying with me while Florida is like having the mandatory shelter in place thing, so he still has to work. So this is his like work setup. Um, but I also have a bunch of eyeshadow palettes back here in this organizer, so I'll probably need his help to move that. But I am gonna go through all of these. I'm gonna start with the Alex 9 drawer unit from Ikea. We'll just go drawer by drawer. Um, and then move on to the rest of those. So anyway, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I wanted to do is go ahead and open up all the drawers just to show you guys what's inside, like a little before, like a sneak peek. So this is my first Morphe palette drawer, then I have a second Morphe palette drawer. This one has some of my more expensive palettes, like Natasha Denona. This one has more affordable drugstore palettes. This one has smaller palettes that are a little bit higher up in price. This next drawer has my Juvia's Place, BH Cosmetics, and then some other random palettes. This one has Fenty, Lunar Beauty, Dominique Cosmetics, Lorely Los Angeles, Tati Beauty, Norvina, and some other ones. And then this drawer is completely like miscellaneous palettes. This bottom drawer actually doesn't have eyeshadow palettes in it. This is like glitters and stuff for like Halloween. Um, so that's just a little bit of an overview. I will have a skincare declutter coming soon. This whole drawer unit has my skincare in it, but this is like an overflow of everything. So that'll be coming very, very soon. Um, I also plan on decluttering my brushes. I'm currently cleaning them. So these are all the ones that I still have to clean, but... As you can see over here, we have lots of clean brushes. So once I clean them all, I'm going to go through them, declutter those, but that'll be a separate video. If you haven't seen my other declutter videos from this most recent series, I will link them down below. I did uh, primer, foundation, concealer, powder, I did blush and bronzer, I did highlighters, and then I did lip products. So um, this is like part, I don't even know, but we're gonna go ahead and get started in this first drawer. So like I said, this first drawer here is full of Morphe palettes. I can already tell you I'm not gonna get rid of anything from this drawer, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go through them with you. This first palette here is the Morphe and Manny MUA Glam Palette. I know a lot of people didn't end up liking this palette, but I really enjoyed it. I think the quality is really nice. I like the color story. Um, and I really enjoy using this every time that I do. And the highlighters are so freaking amazing. So this is my first palette in my eyeshadow palette collection. Also, please excuse my nails. They're almost done growing out <laughs> from when I had acrylics. All right, the next palette here is the Morphe and James Charles palette. This is a palette that I actually purchased and then I didn't really use it a whole lot. Um, when I first got it, as you can tell, it's only been used a couple of times. Um, but I think it's a stunning palette and I don't know why I didn't use it. Like, I don't know what was wrong with me. Um, but then the mini James Charles palette came out and I've actually used this one a ton. I definitely reach for this one more than the larger sized one. I'm not really sure. I don't know if it's because of the size or what, but I haven't found any inconsistencies with the formulas. I've gotten questions on that, but I think that this is a fabulous palette and I love to travel with this. This is what I brought with me to Playlist Live. Next, I have some Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palettes. So the first one here is my original OG Jaclyn Hill palette. This thing has been very well loved. This is in like the old, old packaging. It doesn't even have the names on the back or anything. Um, I, th I think the names were on the little sheet possibly, but I don't have that anymore. So obviously I love this palette so much. Love Jaclyn Hill. Um, I think I bought that in 2017 and then I wanted to have a newer version of the palette, like a fresh version after all of the controversy occurred with this palette and the reformulation. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Jen Loves Reviews has done I think a couple videos on the topic and I feel like she's very like 
middle grounded very good at explaining things so I recommend checking her out but um, I did want the uh, newer version as well so I did pick that up at Ulta recently um, and then here I have the Jaclyn Hill palette volume 2 I love this palette I think it's so stunning and beautiful every time I use it I love the eye look that I create the colors are everything this is perfect for summer I freaking love this personally I enjoy this more than the original Jaclyn Hill palette back here I have some other morphe palettes that are in like special packaging so this is the 35 I icy fantasy palette this is such a pretty pastel Pastel palette once again every time I use this palette I love the way my eye look turns out um, I don't think this is on the morphe website anymore I don't know if that's because it's sold out or what um, but I do believe it's still on the Ulta website so um, check Ulta if you're still interested in this palette but I haven't seen it on the morphe website when I went to link it for a video next we have the 35g bronze goals palette this was another palette that I feel like a lot of people didn't enjoy very much but I loved it so here are what the colors look like I think it's a stunning palette I can't wait to use this again I haven't used it in quite a while I think this came out last summer like 2019 summer sometime around then um, I think the colors are really pretty the metallic shades you definitely have to work with them a little bit um, to get the payoff that like they can live up to but um, I still think they're amazing shadows and then here we have the 3503 fierce by nature palette I have all three of the 35O palettes. This is one that I used. I actually reviewed this palette when it came out. I used it for the review and then I haven't used it since. <laughs> so I really need to uh, take this out of my drawers and put it in my everyday makeup drawer soon because all these colors are so bright and vibrant and perfect for summer. So definitely love that one. Up here I have some older palettes. So this one on top is actually the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette, I think is what it's called. I didn't have this in my original collection. Um, I hadn't been introduced to the Morphe brand yet when this had come out, or at least I hadn't purchased anything yet. Um, but I mentioned that in a video and I actually did purchase this from one of my subscribers. So um, this isn't something that I plan on using. I did sanitize this, but um, like I said, I don't plan on using this on my eyes I just wanted it for my Jaclyn Hill collection so that's what this palette is they do not make this anymore this is very very old this is the very first Morphe palette that I ever purchased this is the Morphe 35O palette I used this like crazy this was my introduction to warm toned eyeshadows I refused to wear warm toned eyeshadows prior to owning this palette and I did purchase this because of Jaclyn Hill and everybody else that raved about it on YouTube um, so that's a really old palette and then this here is the 3502 this palette I've had for a really long time and it's so sad because I haven't even ever used it I don't think so this will definitely be in an upcoming video because I don't know how I've had it for this long and I've never used it like that's so sad um, so I'll definitely be adding this to a full face of makeup I forgot about or something video because it deserves its use moving on to our second drawer this is again another drawer where I am NOT decluttering anything I absolutely love morphe as a brand like I love their products so I will be keeping all of them um, I have a bunch of these smaller palettes up front these are their 15 pan palettes. so this is the 15 D this is a gorgeous orangey warm toned palette I think this is so stunning and I love the color story here this one is the 15S. I believe this is a holiday palette, if I'm not mistaken, and I love this palette. I think the eyeshadows are amazing, and I love the color story once again. This is the 15B. This is a palette that I feel like I would be using nonstop, but for some reason I haven't ever used it. Um, it's a really nice neutral palette with some pops of pink. I think it's really, really gorgeous, and I definitely need to use this soon. My last 15 pan palette from them 
is the 15T. This is a really unique palette. I don't really have very many palettes that have like green and orange together other than the Morphe 3503 palette. <laughs> um, but I think this is really pretty. I love the shadows. The shade here, no filter needed, is absolutely stunning. This is the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette. This is a very old palette. Um, I bought this at like the peak of my Kathleen Lights obsession. <laughs> Once again, I'm pretty sure they do not make this anymore, um, but this isn't really something that I was ever super drawn to. I definitely purchased this because it was a collab with Kathleen Lights, but I'm happy that I was able to support a YouTuber, so love that. And then this palette here is actually a newer one. This is one of their 18 pan palettes. This is the 18A palette and it is a really pretty blue and brown kind of palette. Um, like I said, I love Morphe shadows. I do have my Blue Blood from Jeffree Star, which is my go-to blue palette, but I do like having um, a variety of different formulas. So um, I really want to check out the other 18 pan palettes that they have. They actually sent me this one as PR. Um, so I definitely want to see which other ones they have. Next we have the Morphe and Jeffree Star palette. This is one of my favorite palettes from Morphe. I think that the shadows are so pretty. I love the pink and green. Love everything about this palette. Actually, the only thing I don't love about the palette is the pressed glitter, which is the shade here. It's a little bit sticky and I find that it creases a bit, but other than that, I love this palette so much. I'm not sure what this palette is called, but it was released a while ago. Um, it says artistry palette on the back. I don't see any other name here, but um, it is an absolutely gorgeous sort of rainbow palette. It says make life colorful on the top of the palette, so maybe that's what it's called. Um, but I love this palette. I initially filmed a review, um, and I loved the way that it turned out, um, the eye look, but I didn't love the way the lighting was in the video, and just like overall I felt like the video didn't turn out very well, so I never ended up posting it, but I think this is such a gorgeous palette and I definitely need to use this more. And then I have a couple of their larger palettes back here. This is the 39L Hit The Lights palette. This is the Holiday 2019 palette. Here are what the shadows look like. Once again, I think this is a gorgeous palette. This was actually a collab with like four different um, influencers, I believe. So, um, there are their names. I'm not sure if you can really read that, but, um, I'm not sure that I'm familiar with any of the people that they collabed with, but I definitely want to check them out. I absolutely love this palette so much. It's amazing. This next palette here is the 39A. I feel like this is a really pretty palette. I feel like a lot of the colors are kind of like a muddy kind of undertone, like a lot of kind of clay, like muddy, warm toned browns. Um, I love the green in here, the pops of warm tone, um, as well as the blue. I just feel like overall this is a really pretty palette and it's not super bright and neon like a lot of my other colors. And this last palette here is the 39S. I think that this palette is absolutely stunning. I feel like on camera it's not even like coming across as beautiful as it is in person. This entire middle row of shadows are all like this beautiful metallic formula. I love pinks and purples, so of course I love the color scheme here. Definitely an amazing Morphe palette. This next shore has my more expensive palettes, so we've got Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath. I also have one Marc Jacobs palette back here, which I actually think I'm going to declutter. This is the Dreamer palette from Marc Jacobs. This is the only one I have. I absolutely love the packaging. Like, I seriously love this packaging so much. But the colors in here just do not, like, I don't know. They don't make me happy and I feel like I don't reach for anything like this. So, um, I just don't find myself ever using it and it makes me really sad but I know somebody else could get much better use out of this gorgeous palette so I will be decluttering this one. Other than that I think I'm going to keep everything that's in here. I have some Natasha Denona palettes. I have some other ones that are not in this drawer but I think this is most of them. So here we have the Biba palette. This is a really beautiful neutral palette. I love all of the nude tones in here. I think it's so pretty and I love Natasha Denona eyeshadows so definitely one that I will be keeping in my collection. 
I also have the Tropic palette from Natasha Denona. This is a beautiful, colorful palette, kind of on the pastel side, but also has some brighter colors in here as well. Definitely very unique to my collection, and I love it very much. This is the Natasha Denona Gold palette. This is actually the first Natasha Denona palette that I ever owned. It's so pretty. I love it. I love the pops of blue and green with the gold and brown. I just feel like it's such a pretty color scheme, and I love this so, 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 so much. This is the Natasha Denona Star palette. This is my most expensive <laughs> Natasha Denona palette. I think this was like $160 or something insane like that. I think it's really pretty. Um, every time I use this, I love the way my eye look turns out. I love Natasha Denona mattes and shimmers. The mattes definitely come across darker on the lid um, than they look in the pan, so that's just something to know for pretty much all Natasha Denona shades, but um, I think this is a gorgeous palette, and I'm happy that I have it in my collection. I have the mini Lila palette in here. I have the full-size Lila palette somewhere else, um, but this is really, really cute. I got this on sale from Sephora. Some people say the mini uh, version formula is not as good as the full-size formula. I haven't ever, like, swatched to compare, but I definitely would consider doing that if you guys were interested. This is the only mini palette that I have, um, but I do have the full-size, like I said, so super cute. Love that. The rest of the palettes in here are all from Pat McGrath. This palette is so beautiful, but it's so sad because I've never used it. This is the Mothership Subversive La Vie and Rose palette, I think is what it's called. I think the colors in here are so pretty. This palette is expensive. I did get it on sale. I also purchased this one on sale, um, but they're still very expensive. Um, but I'm like, ugh, I don't know, like, why would I spend money on this and then not use it? So I really need to use these palettes very soon because I also haven't ever used this one, which is the uh, Mothership Sublime Bronze Ambition palette. Here we have this palette. I did get a little scratch in the pan from the plastic protective sheet, but this is a really pretty neutral palette, but honestly, like, looking at it now, like, is there anything super special about it? No, not really. Um, I'm not super familiar with the Pat McGrath formula for eyeshadows, so I definitely want to use these and get more like familiar with it, but um, I don't know. Sometimes I question my past purchases, and this is definitely one of them. And then this palette here is the Mothership Five Bronze Seduction Palette. I keep this in the packaging because um, it's like so pretty, <laughs> um, but the actual palette itself is a very like plain looking packaging. Um, so here we have this palette. This one I think is so freaking pretty. I love these four shades, especially um, super gorgeous. Let me just like swatch one for you so you can see like, I don't even know if you can tell how beautiful that is, but these shadows are, there's just something special about them. So I absolutely love this palette. This is definitely one that I'm happier with <laughs> as of right now than this purchase here. This next drawer here has a lot of my more affordable and drugstore palettes. Um, I will say I definitely will be able to declutter a lot from this drawer because there's a lot that I don't use. Um, so that's good. <laughs> this is kind of where the declutter is going to start, I guess, since so far I've only gotten rid of one palette, literally. So, um, let's just go ahead and get into it. Right away, the first thing that I'm seeing are these palettes right here. These are all from Rimmel. Um, all of these have been sent to me as PR. I think I might keep, like, one or two of them, but all the other ones I'm going to pass along. So, I'm just going to open these up and just take... A closer peek at them. So these are the Magnifies palettes. This one is the Rainbow Edition. I am gonna go ahead and declutter this one. I think these are really pretty. Like, I think all of these palettes are really pretty, but um, I've had these for a while. Not too long, but I just would rather pass them along to someone else while they're still new um, and not used. So this one I will declutter. This one here I've swatched, but the colors here just don't, I don't know, I don't really enjoy, oh goodness, I'm sorry if you hear some crazy saw noises, um, this is the Thunderstorm Edition, I just don't really feel like a super good connection with this palette, <laughs> so I'm gonna declutter this one as well. My next door neighbors are getting their house redone, and 
I'm gonna have to work around these noises now. All right, so this is the Wow Edition. This is another palette that I will be passing along. By the way, anything that I'm decluttering will either be donated or given to friends and family. If there's anything that's really, 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 really old, I will toss it, but I don't think there's very many of those palettes in here. This is the Jewel Rocks Edition. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. This one is the Reloaded Edition. I feel like I like this one the best. So I am gonna go ahead and keep this one um, so that I can really try out the formula and use this in possible future drugstore videos. This is the Demir palette from Motives. I don't think that I'm going to end up using this too, too much. So um, I am going to go ahead and declutter this one as well. I think the colors are pretty, but I just prefer things with a little more color. Um, so I am going to go ahead and pass this one along. Here I have two Milani palettes. Um, I hauled these like a couple months ago and I actually just used this green one in a full face of first impressions drugstore edition. Um, check that video out if you haven't seen it yet. Um, if you want to see the look that I created with this palette, but I think it's really pretty um, and I definitely want to keep this one. I don't know what the name of it is, but it's the green one. Oh, it's Gilded Jade. And then this purple one here is called Gilded Violet. And this is really pretty as well. I did get these on clearance from Walmart. They were pretty cheap. I think they were only like five bucks or something like that. Um, but I do want to keep those. Next, I have some palettes from Profusion. I've got a couple right here, as well as some here and here. This first one is a little quad. This is the Mini Rubies Eyeshadow Quad. I think this is, oh geez. <laughs> I can't even open it. Oh, there it goes. I think it's really pretty, but I do think this was a holiday release, so I don't think it's still available anymore, so I am going to go ahead and declutter this one. This one is really pretty. They just sent it to me. Um, this kind of looks like a dupe for the Urban Decay Naked palette, like the original one. I'm going to think about this one. I also have this Sapphires one, which is another blue palette, and do I need another blue palette? Mm, not really. <laughs> so I am going to go ahead and pass this one along to someone else. I also have these two palettes. So these are a bit larger. This one is the Pro Pigment palette. The shadows in this palette are so pretty. I feel like my camera is washing everything out. Um, but I definitely think I want to keep this one. But also, I feel like this Mirage palette has a lot of like similar shades. Like this has some pinky reds. This one has some pinky reds. So I guess. I guess I'll just keep the Mirage palette and I'll declutter the Pro Pigment palette, even though I don't want to. <laughs> and I will keep the Nude Eyes palette since they just recently sent that to me. Next, I have a couple of Pixie palettes that I will be keeping. This Pixie palette was a collab. I think it's called the Double Tap palette. It's so pretty. I recently got this um, sent to me as PR, so I will be keeping this. I think the shadows are absolutely stunning. Um, and then this one I'm also keeping, this is the Eye Reflection Shadow Palette in Natural Beauty, I think. And this is a really cool tone palette, and I don't have a lot of cool tone palettes, so um, I definitely want to give this one a try. And I know this is kind of trendy right now, the whole cool tone vibe, which isn't really my favorite, but I do want to give it a shot. I have a few Believe Beauty palettes right here. Um, these are five bucks. They are not bad in price. This one is called Nearly Nude. I think the metallic shades in these palettes are so stunning. The mattes aren't my favorite, but if you work with them a little bit, you can definitely get them to work with you. So this one is so pretty. Love that. I'm definitely keeping all of these. Um, this one is a recent one. I actually just used this in my second Believe Beauty video. This is in the shade Love Struck. And this totally reminds me of like the modern renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one is called Plush Purples. Once again, I will be keeping this one. Back here, let's see. Oh, let's see what we've got. Some hidden treasure. <laughs> this is a very old palette that needs to be thrown away. This is the Essence all about sunrise palette. I kept this for so long. As you can tell, I used it a ton. I wish Essence still made this palette because I would go out and repurchase it. It's so pretty, but this is probably like eight years old or something insane like that. So this one will be going 
in the garbage, unfortunately. I am gonna keep this e.l.f. palette. I have no idea what it's called. I can't find the name on the palette anywhere, um, but it is really pretty. And I do have the little mini bite palette somewhere. I have to find those. <laughs> um, but other than those, this is my only e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. Um, I feel like I got this in December. And I don't know if I use it in a video or not, but there's not like a little name on the sticker here, so I don't know. I'm keeping it though. Here I have a couple of LA Colors eyeshadow palettes. I think I only want to keep one of these. This is the invite only palette. It's really pretty, but these aren't really my favorite kind of colors, so I will be passing that one along. I also have this one, which is like a purpley kind of palette. This is the after party palette. I'm also going to go ahead and pass this one along just because I don't really see myself reaching for that anytime soon. This one is the Socialite palette. I am going to keep this one because this one, like, is, I'm drawn to this one the most. Um, and I do want to have this eyeshadow palette in my collection, um, for, like, you know, comparing purposes and things like that. So I will be keeping this one. Next I have some of these Alter Ego palettes. So basically Alter Ego is a brand that makes like dupe palettes. So this one here is the Temptress and this is supposed to be a dupe for the, I think it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry palette. I don't have the Sultry palette so I'm not 100% sure but I believe that is the one that this is supposed to be a dupe of. I find that the quality of these shadows is really really nice. I've seen um, comparison videos on YouTube and I feel like the quality of these shadows is very nice. So if you can't afford the, um, you know, the original palettes, I feel like you should check out Alter Ego. Uh, this next one here is the Sahara palette. The packaging is also very nice. It is sort of like a cardboard packaging, but it has some nice weight to it, and it feels, like, very luxurious. Um, this one, I think, actually, this is a dupe for a Natasha Denona palette. I think it's a dupe for this one. Here are the two palettes. I do believe some of the rows are kind of like flip-flopped and I think some of the shadows are in slightly different places, but I do believe this is meant to be a dupe of the Biba palette. If you would like to see a comparison video, let me know. I would be happy to do that for you guys. Um, I will be keeping all of my Alter Ego palettes. I also have this one, which is the Daydream palette, and this one is a dupe for the Huda Beauty New Nude palette, which is one of my favorite palettes. So, um, I really want to see comparison swatches between this one and the Huda Beauty one. This is the Miracle palette from Glamlight. Glamlight is the brand that has all of the fun, like, food palettes. This is a breast cancer awareness palette. I think the colors in here are so beautiful, and I definitely will be keeping it. I have these Wet n Wild palettes. These are, like, iconic classic ones. We have this one here, which is the Walking on Eggshells palette, and then this larger one is called Comfort Zone. If you guys remember these palettes, like, you're an OG. <laughs> Um, I think they're so, so, so freaking cute and definitely give me good memories. This is the I Heart Revolution Raspberry Icing Palette. This is actually so pigmented. This shade right here is insane. Um, so I will be keeping this. I'm not sure if these are still available, but the packaging is so cute. It's actually, like, squishy. <laughs> so I love the packaging so much. Um... And I definitely want to keep it. The last palette I have in here is from Wet n Wild. This is the palette that, like, is supposed to... Wow, look at how perfectly that fits. Um, this is supposed to look like the... Well, it's not supposed to, but supposedly. But there was a lot of speculation around this palette looking exactly like the James Charles um, and Morphe palette. Um, I bought it because I wanted to see the comparison for myself. I didn't end up doing a video because I didn't want to be a part of that crazy drama. <laughs> um, but I do want to keep this because I really do enjoy Wet n Wild's eyeshadow palette um, formula, eyeshadow formula, and I think it's a really nice palette to have. So, whew! Here is the drawer after. I did end up getting rid of quite a few eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> These are all the ones that I decluttered from this drawer. We have 11 eyeshadow palettes here that are going to find a new home. For this next drawer, I had to come over to the other side of the camera and sit down because <laughs> I can't like bend over for that long. So 
Um, here we have a lot of my smaller palettes. Um, I don't think I'm going to be decluttering a whole bunch of these, but I'm going to do my best. First off, right away, I have all of these Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes. I'm not getting rid of any of these. I actually have one of them in my everyday makeup drawer, um, but I will run through them with you guys. This first one is the Amethyst Obsessions palette. Next, we have the Emerald Obsessions palette, the Ruby Obsessions palette, the Sapphire Obsessions palette, the Topaz Obsessions palette. This is the Nude Medium palette, the Nude Rich palette. This is the Coral Neon palette, the Pink Neon palette, and then this is the Green Neon palette. Moving on to this section here, the first palette is from Lime Crime. This is a plushies palette. Um, I think it's really pretty and cute, but I never reach for this, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Luxury Palette of Pops. Um, I purchased this, and I freaking love it, so I will be keeping it. This is the NARS Inferno Palette. So pretty. Once again, I will be keeping this. This Too Faced palette smells so good and it's so pretty. I love the shadows in here, especially this one. I think it's absolutely stunning. This is called, I think it's called the Razzle Dazzle Berry Eyeshadow Palette. I will be keeping this one. I think they sell the 2D Fruity line at Ulta exclusively, if I'm not mistaken. Next, I have this Jouer Ultra Foil Eyeshadow Palette. I do believe I got this on sale at Sephora, so I don't think they make this anymore, but it's so fabulous and stunning. I love it. This is the Violet Voss Essentials Palette. I got this in a boxy charm. I think it's really pretty, and I will be keeping it. This is the Dose of Colors Friendcation Palette. It's the Desi and Katie collab. I think this is so, so gorgeous. I definitely cannot get rid of it. This one, however, I do think I'm going to get rid of. This is the Hidden Treasures palette by Dose of Colors. The eyeshadow palette placement kind of stresses me out, honestly. <laughs> um, I think the colors are really pretty, um, but I never reach for it just because I feel like everything's all over the place and it's just a lot. So I am going to go ahead and declutter this one. And then here we have the Violet Voss Bright Vibes palette. I purchased this from Sephora because I wanted some good neon shadows. I love this. I haven't actually gotten a chance to use it yet. So when I say I love this, I mean I love the colors of it. <laughs> um, but I'm really excited to use this in the upcoming weeks and months. I have this mini um, Viseart palette. Um, it's called the Petite Pro Palette. Um, it's really cute, but I'm actually gonna just go ahead and declutter this since I know I'm never gonna use this. Here I have the Melt Cosmetics Smoke Sessions Palette. This is so pretty. I love all the green and gold tones in here. I definitely will be keeping this. This is the only Melt Cosmetics eyeshadow palette that I own. I also plan on keeping all of these Kaleidos palettes. I will go ahead and show you what they look like. This is the Futurism 1 palette, this is the Futurism 2, this is the Futurism 3, and then this is the Futurism 4. Over here I have some smaller Dose of Colors palettes. I have quite a few, um, so I will go through those with you. All of these Dose of Colors palettes were sent to me as PR, so this first one here is the Baked Browns. This is the Pretty Cool. This is Sassy Sienna's. Marvelous Moths, Snow Angels, and then Blushing Berries. Here I have some of the Pure Cosmetics and Trolls World Tour palettes. I actually just mentioned these in the most recent Trend Mood box unboxing on my channel. It was the Volume 4. Uh, so I have three of them. This one is Funk. By the way, the Trolls World Tour comes out today. Today's April 10th, and I will be watching it tonight. I'm so excited. Um, so this one is Funk. This one is Techno. Okay, and this is going to be my NARS Christmas 2018 palette. And, you know, I just don't see myself going to this too often, so declutter. <laughs> <laughs> no! That's from 2019, first of all. Oh, okay. And then this one is the Classical palette. Back here, I have a few more miscellaneous palettes. This is the Ofra and Fresca Tolot collab eyeshadow palette. I think it's really pretty, but I am going to go ahead and pass this along. My camera battery is about to die, so I'm going to try to speed through these. This is the Ofra Signature Palette Radiant Eyes. 
Um, this is really pretty and I'm going to keep it. <laughs> this is a little palette that I made um, on this website. I did a whole video on it. I think it's really cute and I'm gonna keep it. I have a couple of Kylie Cosmetics palettes. This is the You're So Money Baby palette. I will be keeping this one along with the uh, Kris Jenner <laughs> palette from Kylie Cosmetics. There we go. It wasn't in focus before. This is the Too Faced Palm Springs Dreams palette. This is actually a really, really pretty palette. Wow, my camera is struggling. Um, I will also be keeping this one. So my camera battery died before I had a chance to finish, um, but this is a buxom palette right here. This is like, um, a, like a customized one. You can customize the shadows. I have some other singles, um, but I put these ones together, so I will be keeping that palette. And then the last palette I have in this drawer is this Makeup Forever palette. This is called, I don't even know what this is called. This is the Flash palette, the Harmony Flash palette. Um, I think they might have like two of these, but this is like the rainbow one. Um, and I haven't actually used this. I got this pretty recently and I'm really excited to try out like um, a very creative, fun look with these. So. Um, I will be keeping that. So this is the after for this drawer. I only ended up getting rid of four eyeshadow palettes from here. But like I said, this is mostly a collection video. I'm just also decluttering along the way.